the Democrats are officially over it. And when I'm saying over it, I mean they're over the black man. Why is it? Because it's very hard to control the black man's vote. If you notice in recent times, you see in the Democratic Party rolling out millions of black women, leading them out to be the face of the Democratic Party. Why is that? It's because the black man's vote is not consistent to the Democratic Party. Here's an example. Let's check out how black women discuss Kamala Harris' presidency. Because as the saying goes, if you got something to say, We told you she wasn't going to take that. Because <laughs> she's heard all of that stuff before. Yep. See, she, this is nothing new. Your taunts roll off her back, man. You have said all these things about so many of us. Yep. So many women have heard, oh, yeah, you only here because you a woman. You only here because you a black woman. You didn't actually earn what you... And can anybody explain to me what a black job is? <laughs> uh... Real crazy being on the other side of that line, particularly as a person of color. You're gonna look real weird and real lonely on that side. You really are gonna look crazy being on that side, given the cultural phenomenon of Vice President Kamala Debbie Harris. Now check out how black men discuss Kamala Harris' presidency. A new candidate, Kamala Harris, okay? Is, is Kamala going to make you uh, a little more likely or less likely to vote Democrat? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, Ray, hold on, Ray. Is, is Kamala black, yes or no? I'm going to let her speak on that. <laughs> but to me, no. Oh, I is don't. Kamala black, yes or no? I share that same view. Wow, is Kamala black, yes or no? I heard she was. I heard she's half black and half Asian. It, it feel like she black when she want to be. I, that's, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest. Huh? I feel that same. Huh? Wow. Yeah. She uses the black card when she have to. Wow, it's huge. I'm just saying I've heard this is huge. Okay, so that's interesting. My follow-up question is, does it matter? At this point, no. I think America's... I, I tell people this right now. If you really want change in this country, you would not be voting for either of the lesser of two evils. So, like, if we at that point, if we truly at that point as Americans, then we know what we need to do. But I'm talking about this. We're debating her ethnicity. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and we're hedging, right? Mm -hmm. hey, baby, does it matter? If it we doesn't knew, matter. If she said, if she came out tomorrow and was like, yo, I'm black, that don't mean nothing to me. No. Obama the, was black. Right. Does it mean anything to you? No. Wow, 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 wow. Now, hold on. If any, do you feel to make the commitment and engage the conversation or the support for Kamala Harris from community before you've heard anything in terms of what her platform is? Rather significantly. Um, being an HBCU alum and D9 member, we've already seen that push and that call for all of us to rally behind her. She already had my vote. Big Stone, and we had this conversation earlier in the year. The Biden administration actually campaigned on forgiving student loans, and they forgave my wives. That was a direct benefit for me. So they had my vote solidified on that. But I do feel like the symbolism of the moment does urge us a little bit more, even without hearing the platform, to be behind it. It's kind of uh, double for me personally because it's kind of like you're, you're almost a villain if you have a question, right? It's almost like, you know, you, you're, you're anti something because you question something. Mm -hmm. And politically, you know, because it's, it's, it's such a finite timetable of when you have to make a decision, it, 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 it doesn't leave room to have a, a real in-depth conversation. You're almost put in a place where you have to just say, come on, let's go. And it's like, come on, let's go with what, right? And then when you're halfway down the road and you feel like, like wait a minute, I shouldn't be part of this bandwagon. Are you anti because you want to back off now? Or you, you know, do let me out the car. You know what I'm saying? Right. How you look at now, you know what I mean? So it's, it's rough. That's a Boys and Hoods reference for people that catch it. This is a part of the reason why you don't see many black men at the forefront of the Democratic Party, helping them to lead out, to get votes. 
and to encourage other people to even continue voting Democrat. Why is that? Because the black man vote is not consistent for Democrats. People are talking about Project 2025. How about we talk about Project 2024 that the Democrats were able to accomplish successfully? And that is to open the borders so illegal migrants could come over and replace the black vote. Why do you think they're rushing to get them legal status in America? Now, they might, they might not vote for the 2024 election, but they're damn sure will vote for the 2028 election. This is strategic for the Democrats. Everything they do is based on strategy and is not in the well-being of the people who vote for them. Let me know what you guys think.